my name is Freezing Gap. Well, welcome back to another tutorial video. And today, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own thumbnail. And this is going to be the V2 thumbnail. So yeah, uh, let me get into this. Let me go. First, you need Fonto. And a lot of you guys asked that you had troubles with Fonto and, um, of course, uh, PS Touch. The PS Touch um, application will be in the description below, so do check it out, guys. And the template, you gotta work on the template yourself, to be honest. I, I honestly can't do anything about it, because I also worked on it to get for the first time. So anyway, uh, if you get Fonto, you wanna click on that pencil tool. And then let's see, um, survival games. Let's try survival games. Survival. Okay, there we go. We got that. I'm horrible at spelling. I apologize. I mean, give the survival text big. And now, if you want to make it, like, larger, there's size here. You can, oh, my bad. Size here, you can just increase the size if you want. You don't have to do it. But if you like, you can always free, feel free to feel free to put it, make it bigger. Okay. Um, next thing you need is click on that tool again. And this time, we're going to do games. So, games. Put that there. And let's have that one here, too. And another SG video will be coming up soon, guys. Thank you again for 883... 880 let me check it away 883 subscribers thank you so much i just went back on my pc and checked it right away but yeah that guys that, that that's an amazing amount guys we're so close to 900 subs and yeah okay well, let me just move it around a bit let me move it right under it okay that's perfect okay now what you want to do is as you have it here you go on style and you go on text color and let's see where is it where could you be um spacing there we go oh, curving my bad uh curving let's turn it up bit that way like this so we get that nice curve in the middle that looks beautiful let's add a curve on this too but on this one we're gonna add a different curve we're gonna add a curve going wait is it the right way is that the right way wait a second yeah a curve going this way so now it's gonna be like wait let me just drag this one up here that looks beautiful very very beautiful okay now what you're gonna do is just press the save button and we'll go on to the PS Touch part. Okay. Don't have PS Touch here. Okay. Okay, guys. Now this is a PS Touch part, and as you can see, I made a lot of thumbnails. This is, I think, one of my best ones so far. And yeah, okay, um, let me just go in here and you can see if you click on this, there are a lot of options here. So what you want to do is click on photo library and then of course go on downloads and on downloads you can see a lot of pictures here. Now I'm going to pick one of these, uh, let's say, um... okay guys, now that we are in here, uh, what you want to do is now that you clicked on that application, you have this picture coming out. Now this don't, you don't have to worry about this picture at all. And what you want to do is click on this, the plus button here, and you can see another plus button here. Click on that, please. And the photo layer. Now, this is the really, I think the easiest part about making thumbnails is that everything is already done. So make your, uh, like, render, like, render is basically made on PC, and I don't make the renders. My friend made me render, and then they passed it on. So please do get a render on from online anywhere possible. When I started off YouTube, I got my renders off Noah skin. So do check it out. The IP will be in the description below. Uh, the IP, really, Kai? Really, IP? I meant the website link will be in the description below for making renders. So do feel free to go check it out. And yeah. So what you want to do next is basically take out the render you need. Let's take out Aeris's render out. a 12 So let me keep it in a specific spot. Let me keep it there. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay. I'll put it up here a bit. Okay, there we go. Have it there. That's really nice. Now, last time what I did was I had the renders on this side. Wait, my bad. I had the renders on this side. Let me show you. I had the render here last time. You can do that, um, but now I'm gonna do the professional thumbnail. I don't know professional thumbnail. You can do this. This is a new way of doing thumbnails. Well, it's been done a lot of times, so, you know, you can feel free to do whichever way you want. And let's go on Fonto. And as you can see, of course, go back, click on this. And what you wanna do, don't click on this, but click on the plus sign again and click on um, photo layer. Then you have another layer. And then here you can see a lot of things where you can go camera, screenshots, and I would go in Fonto. See the survival game thing right there, that's perfect. You get that out and click the plus uh, correct, correction sign, I don't know, correction sign I could say. And another thing here, if you go here, you got like four selections, four selections, right Kai? Four sections here. And here you have polygon section, lasso section, 
and um, circle section. So these are all really useful, but I suggest to use mainly lasso because lasso is really easy to go around with if you're trying to make the fiery kind of fiery effect. If you know what I, if you don't know what I mean by fiery effect, I mean like this. So like this, and then putting it with uh, fill and stroke, and then changing it to this color. So it gives that kind of effect. So yeah, it just something like that. I don't know if you guys like this. Oops. Uh, if you guys like that way or not. But after that, if you have that, you can just click overlay, and then you know you can do things with it. See, it has an overlay to it. It gives like this nice, nice kind of shade. But again, you don't have to do this. Um, That's just an example of what lasso is. And of course, the others do the same thing. Now, you want to do is with this magic wand here. It's legit called magic wand tool. You just click on this and you can see everything is like uh, pixelated kind of thing. The circles going, it's going to crop it out. So here on top, you have these four things here like this, this, this. Now this one is for cutting and copying and basically clearing and refining edges and just making it smoother. This is for the color correction adjustments and this is for the FX. So if you want to add some effects, special effects on this on your thumbnail, use these. I specifically, the ones I use the most is Drop Shadow, Glow, B-Level, uh, Gaussian Blur, and Tint. And for styles, I don't use much. For artistic, I use Color Drop, that's mainly all I use. And for this one is the main part, the photo part. I use Sleepy Sleepy Hollow and TV Monitor. You don't have to use that, but it's just an uh, example. Here is this is again again for cropping images, uh, resizing images, rotating, and lens flare. Now by lens flare, I mean by you know the lighting. So wrap text here, uh, warp text. Sorry, my wrap. Warp text here and camera fill transform. By transform, they mean by move it or moving it around. So gradients is another thing we're gonna get into in a bit. But right now, as you as we've highlighted this, you go and cut it out, and just click outside the box. And when you click outside the box, it basically takes the thing away. So what you wanna do next is make this a bit bigger and bring it down, and then just increase the size a little bit because we don't want this to be very small. Of course, we don't want this to be very small. So let's bring it here, and now what you want to do is basically just, if you have this here, as you can see, we're, it's basically highlighted over this. Now it's a render, now it's a text. Now what you want to do is go in the FX section and put a little drop shadow there, so you can get, a, so you can, it's more visible, you know, because back then it wasn't visible. So now it's more visible, and now what you want to do is give it a glow. And by glow, I don't mean by like, increase the size to this much, and this, it'll look ugly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Make it green since the render is green. Let's just make it green and let's make it something matching, you know? Something nice and matching for you guys. So, let's see. Okay, we got a green one over there that looks really nice. Now, what, now this is what you guys can do is click on this button again, plus. And instead of doing photo layer, put a duplicate this. Now, now you've duplicated. Now you see there's two, like two of them. So, what you can do is click on the first one, the one on top, because that's the first layer. Click on FX. Click on Tint. And as you can see, it's going to be green. Now, I'll leave it that way, but we're going to go here, right next to the plus button, there's another sign here. And now here, this is opacity and stuff like that, which is basically trying to make it transparent and whatnot. This button is to delete, and that I have no idea what these two are for. Here, what you're doing, blend mode. Click on that, and you can see a lot of them. What you want to click on this one is called overlay. And now, as you can see, it gives a totally nice texture to it. It's really nice, guys. It's really pretty. So do use this for your thumbnails. Now what you want to do is click on FX again and put B level in and it gives it 3D look. So yeah, and do the same for this one. Um, there we go. Perfect. And now you go back on FX and photo and put the dark uh, darkness in. So it looks very visible. This looks really nice guys. I suggest you guys use this uh, on your thumbnails when you're doing because it basically makes the thumbnail stand out more and mainly the text. So I'm gonna go back to the render and put more of this drop shadow in to make it more of a realistic type of feeling to this render so it looks nice. Oh, uh, let's not add too much of that. No, actually let's not add that at all. Uh, let me put a bit level in. Now what you can do with the bit level thing, guys. Okay, let me go back. What you can do with the bit leveling thing is you can go up here and duplicate this too. And the one on top, you can go here and be level this. Now, this is the interesting part. This is something I learned recently. So I, you can just, you can increase the size, leave it like that. Make it 
bit okay now what you want to do is distance you want to increase the distance like maybe this much that's perfect now this is the interesting part guys you click on this and now when you do this it makes it look very nice overlay this and boom it gives that uh, like you know texture like not a texture but like it gives that look like sun is falling on his um back and then shadows in front of him that's a really nice kind of a feeling and overall i think it's a really good technique so i just came up with that you guys can use it i really don't mind this because it's for you guys and i'm here for you guys and i want to help you guys with youtube and how to make thumbnails and again let's go for this one let's try for this one I'm, i haven't really tried this one um oh shoot i think i gotta make another one wait so i think i made a mistake here you gotta make here and make this duplicate this and have this here and let's try for this one let's try and be level this one okay let's try and be level this here overlay and boom this looks okay actually this doesn't look that bad but again here is what you get uh the outcome and now we're gonna focus on the background now a lot of people on focus a lot on the background because they want it to look nice what you can do for this one is click on empty layer go here and as you can see there are a lot of options click on gradient and with gradient it gives you that kind of background effect you know so i'm going to click on this you can click on anything you want so if you want to change the color of this if you don't like it we can change it to anything here if you would like uh let's stay with green and actually let me move this down because i really don't want this to okay actually let's move it let's keep it up Let's keep it up because it has to stay above the text and all that, so it looks really nice that way. Okay, let me just pull this. Okay, I can't pull this up. My bad. I'm gonna go back and then add another be leveling to this. Not be level. Sorry. Um. Wait a second. Okay, now we have it here. Let me put this back. Gradients and let me pull it up a little. Notch or two. Here we go. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. So now what you want to do, as you can tell, it's over, like overtaking the text and everything. What you're going to do is with this one, is either click on screen, I think it's screen, yeah. You can either click on screen to make it look like that, or you can click on overlay, which I suggest is the best for this. And click on overlay and give you that effect. So that's that overall is really nice, guys. That's what I prefer. But, you know, it's your opinion. If you don't like this technique, um, you can see the previous one, or I can do a V3 if you'd like. If you click on this, wait a second. If you click on this one now, um, the rectangular uh, rectangular uh, section, you can do this. And wait a second, you can just go over this, go over this with that, and then go up here and fill in stroke. Now this is really important for this one. So as you can tell, it basically took over the whole thing, but don't worry about it, guys. Put it a white, and then go here and then do stroke, and then see width. Just pull it up a bit. That looks nice. Perfect. Okay. As you go here, it gives the white line, but if you don't want the white line, if you want to make it look more, I don't know, fancy, you can do overlay on this too. And there you go. And yeah, guys, that's basically how you make a thumbnail on uh, your PS Touch. So if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for 883 subscribers. I'll be doing a lot more um, tutorials. Next tutorial probably will be on how to make a profile picture. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Peace, stay freezing, boy.